friends, while we strive not to be like Jonah, some days we feel like Jonah. We are tired, fed up, frustrated that life does not go our way. And sometimes we even find that we are angry at God for the gifts that have been given, but do not meet our expectations. Luckily for Jonah and for us, God provides. And not just with short-lived shade from a bush, but with compassion and love, expansive grace and community even when we are apart. We, as the body of Christ, are a gift from God and a gift to each other. Family at Second, you are living into this gift. In the many ways that you serve one another through your endless prayer, reading scripture together, gathering virtually on Sundays from various places, and through your dedication to our mission partners and the people of this world. You are serving this community. And it doesn't end here. Let us continue on this journey together as we affirm God's unending grace in our lives day in and day out. Proclaim the good news of Christ in the world and recommit to serving one another in love. If you are a member of Second Presbyterian Church and wish to give a financial contribution, we invite you to visit secondchurch.org slash give.
with the whole people of God in Christ Jesus. Let us pray for the church, those in need, and all of God's creation. Let us pray. Holy God, you are the God who walked with us yesterday, stands by us today, and guides us tomorrow. You are so faithful to us. You are not slow to fulfill your promises. You are patient, loving, and kind. All of our glory belongs to you. Thank you for your never-ending grace that flows over us, not because of what we do, but simply because you call us your children. As your children, Lord, we pray for the unity of your universal church. In all times and places, make us one. Renew our spirits. Encourage us to persevere. Transform our worship so it would never be about us but stand to glorify you in all ways. Be with this church, Lord, Second Presbyterian Church of Indianapolis. Remind us that even as we worship from our homes, our cars, on our phones and our computers, as we worship in the presence of others, or find ourselves worshiping by ourselves, no matter where we are, we are never alone. We are one body in Christ, gathered and sent out to be your church in the world today. Help us to grow deeper in faith and stronger in commitment. We pray, all-powerful God, for the well-being of creation, for the will and wisdom to care for the earth that you have gifted us. Give us awareness to your presence among us, and we pray earnestly for those experiencing tragic fires around the world, especially today in California, and all people and creatures who have been displaced. Provide protection in areas of the world where hurricanes strike, as in Texas and Louisiana and others, where drought and famine arise, as well as the disasters that we as humankind have created. Grant us guidance and help us care for all creation. O oh God, our rainbow of promise, Preserve the earth in your mercy. We pray, righteous God, for peace and justice in the world, for efforts towards reconciliation. Overthrow evil, calm the unrest, comfort anxious hearts, extend your wisdom through your Holy Spirit, and right what is wrong. Be with those in any form of office, those who have been elected or chosen to lead. Restore all who govern and rule to have open hearts filled with your goodness and your love. Guide them. Lead them to care for others. In times of unknowns, worldly unrest, and upcoming elections, clear our minds, gift us wisdom, and help us discern how to live faithfully. Benevolent God, for the poor, oppressed, sick, bereaved, and lonely, for the hungry and those experiencing homelessness, for those without family or friends, for all who are hurting, Lord, we pray. We trust that you see them, even when we cannot, and even when we will not. Heal the sick, gift perseverance to those struggling, 
and extend your compassionate hand in a time and place that feels so compassionless. Breathe your life back into a world dying to be resurrected from heartache, stigmas, and shame. Uphold those who are alone, grieving, and lost. And we grieve together today the death of our sibling in Christ, Nancy Myers. And we ask for your grace and comfort to surround Nancy's family during this time. For we know that in life and death, you are with us. Welcoming us into your arms and declaring us yours. You are our strength, our rock, and our redeemer. For those facing physical, mental, and emotional pain, O oh God, we pray for relief and healing. Tend to the many who have been touched and impacted by COVID-19, that we would be mindful of the impacts of this virus and swiftly work together to eradicate it. Liberate those in harmful environments that stifle joy, break relationships, steal agency and autonomy, and diminish life. Lord, be with all who are angry. Angry at the world, angry at situations, and individuals, and themselves, and all who are angry at you. Remind us of your mercy and grace that covers us and liberates us to live fully into who you call us to be. O oh God, we pray protection and wisdom over children, youth, and adults who have entered back into the school system these past few weeks. Bestow patience upon teachers, parents, and students alike as they navigate being with one another in person and virtually. We come before you so grateful for your constant care of us, for you alone are compassionate, O oh God, healer of all. Hear our cries to you. And we pray, loving God, for the desires of our hearts that you alone know. Receive our thanksgiving, eternal God, for the many gifts that we have been blessed with. Financial gifts, friendship, hope for the community of believers and all the faithful who have come before us and so many more. Open our eyes to your movement in this world so that we may reflect your light even on the darkest days. We pray all of this and more in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, your Son, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.